details tonight as a green country mayor takes his oath to his community to brand new levels after those damaging winds hit several homes in Porter. Two works for you reporter Darcy Jackson shows us how their mayor stood guard all night helping people sift through debris. This was pretty amazing. Weird stuff with tornadoes in it. Yeah. Every piece of classroom material is still where Porter teacher Terry Roberts left it in storage. Only now there's no roof to protect them. This is just storage, so I'm kind of glad that, that we were hit the way we were. But for others who share the building. People's personal belongings, baby pictures, things of that nature, all that kind of stuff's in these units. So we want to make sure that's safe. Folks coming by here and checking in on their belongings have been greeted by a familiar face. Porter Mayor Steve Dickey. Dickey's been in and out since last night, helping folks load up and personally keeping watch over everything that's left. This was probably the worst part here in town. It's like the whole building just lifted, must have lifted straight up in the air. He considers it a personal mission to help. I've lived here all of my life. My grandparents have lived here, so you kind of know everybody. Yeah. So. You kind of get emotional about it. A calling to not just serve the town of Porter daily, but to lean down and pick its residents up from the latest springtime blow. You know, I feel very comforted. And, you know, they were Johnny on the spot with uh, the tornado warning, so I know people were watching us. In Porter. No, we'll, we'll, we'll make it. There was uh, no loss of lives. You know, nobody got hurt. Darcy Jackson, two works for you.